Alright boys, so EA have released some Liga Portugal, well obviously it's Liga Nos, I think I've actually changed the name of the league, but I've released some new milestones, obviously, I think I've got the EFL Championship ones coming up next, we had the Eredivisie yesterday, and these cards honestly look really good, specifically this Uribe card, or Uribe card, uh, we're, we're going to be doing a review on him, sorry not a review, we're going to be doing an objectives guide on him after this video, so there'll be once again a double upload as they are separate game modes, uh, so it just makes it much easier for the title, etc, etc. But starting off, boys, if you guys are new to these objective guides, what we're going to do is we're going to go over all of these objectives. I'll give you guys my tips and tricks. And also, I'm going to build a team between 15 and roughly 25,000 coins that you guys can use to get this objective done. If you guys do enjoy or this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Starting off, we've got score eight out outside of the box goals in squad battles on at least semi-pro. Uh, now, the outside of the box goals, simple as, doesn't have to be with anyone from a specific league or have any specific stats so that's easy as uh, assist eight goals with crosses using Liga Portugal players uh, on squad battles on at least professional score using Liga Portugal players in eight separate matches uh, with at least seven uh, Liga Portugal players in your squad and win 10 matches in squad battles with at least seven Liga Portugal players in your squad so it looks relatively simple all you really have to do is get at least seven Portuguese league players in your squad uh, and you just got to score assist and score outside of a box goals remember as well the score outside of a box goal uh, this is not in a separate match so you can get like five done in one match if you can but yeah this looks relatively simple just like the Eredivisie ones this is probably going to take I mean 10 games to get them all done which is around maybe two and a half hours in squad battles which I'd probably recommend doing it in squad battles if you want to count this as a tip I don't know but I would definitely stay away from division rivals because it is going to be a whole lot harder um, unless you really hate squad battles so much you'd rather use a relatively bad team in division rivals and most likely lose quite a bit then you can do that uh, personally I just do it in squad battles and chuck a Netflix film on or something uh, anyway boys let's get into the Liga Portugal it is now it's going to call it Liga Nos uh, squad builder Right, so this is the team we have come up with. I know you only need at least seven Liga Nos players. So what I would do if you've got like icons or maybe you've got, you know, some icon center backs, Premier League center backs from the same league, then you can do like three uh, or your two center backs and your goalkeeper. You could have them. And obviously you'll still have eight players from Liga Nos. Before the formation, we've just gone for 4-4-2. Uh, Nunes up top. Portuguese League strikers are relatively limited, but you have got him up top paired with your, your America. Uh, I'm probably butchering that, right? Let's just call him Roman. Um, the thing is, though, they're both freestar, freestar. They're both really tall, and you've got some options. If you really don't want to use them, what you could always do is you could use a left wing uh, or a left mid, like, say, Everton. I know Everton's got one. Yeah, Everton, for example, or even this dude. But if you go to left mid, you can convert them to a left mid and then a... or, or from a left mid to a left wing and then a left forward and play, say, this Diaz card up top because obviously he's going to be, you know, much better up top. So there's always that. It is going to cost an extra 2,000 coins per card with the position changes, though. Uh, so there is that. Left mid, we have actually gone for Diaz himself. And as the two center mids, we've gone for Pizzi, Uribe, and our right mid is Rafa. At left back, we have gone for Sanusu, or Sanusu, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced. Six foot high high, obviously he's a lefty. Uh, 93 pace, 74 agility, looks very solid and will definitely get the shift done. You could also go for Grimaldo, but we've just gone for a little bit more pace on the on the left back position. Uh, Center back, we've gone for Pepe, who was in a lot of people's starting teams. This card is ridiculously good. 80 pace, 82 defending with 87 physical. Medium high, he will do the job. Absolutely wonderful. Right centre back, or actually, oh, oh no, never mind. I actually thought he was right footed, so I was going to move him to left centre back, but no, he's actually right, uh, right footed. Well, I thought he was left footed, but he's actually right footed. 6 2 with low medium work rates. It is a verissimo. Now, I know he's actually got a Liga NOS card as well, like a road to the knockout, so if you've got a higher budget, you could always upgrade to that. Defensively, he looks really, really good. Physical as well, and pace of 81 will do the job. Right back, we've gone for Sacco, who's actually a 73 rated silver this year. You could be going for the Manafa card. Um, obviously, once again, he also has a road to the knockout, but he's like 100,000 coins. Uh, but you can buy a 73 rated or Sacco 73 rated, 92 pace, some okay -ish dribbling, defending, well, no, it is what it is. It's nothing crazy, but he would definitely do the job. And I feel like I'd rather save the coins because I know lots of people, remember, this is a cheaper squad builder. Um, and I feel like lots of people are going to be buying Manafa as he is like 77 rated as gold rare card. And I could probably see him going to a couple thousand coins where I think Sacco will stay around the one. 
1,000 coin mark. So you just save a little bit of coins for a position I don't think necessarily matters too much. And in net, we have gone best. I try not to pronounce his name, but he's six foot three. Uh, saves with feet trait as well, which is the main reason I did lean and put him in because saves with feet is so overpowered. It always has been, and it's a very rare trait to come across. Now, tip number one, boys. Once again, uh, like I said, you need at least seven Liga Nos players. So if you want, you could, you know, if you've got maybe a, a hyperlink between two strikers, you could do that. But if you know, uh, if you're comfortable just using a full Liga Nos team or Portugal uh, league team, I'd personally just do this. Now, tip number one, boys, is going to be the bench. There's no bench requirements. You can have the best bench in the game. For example, I've got 93 Messi. I've got 91 Ronaldo, uh, 89 Son, 88 Pulo, who we got in our icon pack. So you can chuck them on the bench. And what you can do is chuck a pause straight away, and you can go ahead and sub. You, you know, use your super subs. You can use free players uh, as, as a super sub each game. I, I could sub Messi on at right mid, I could sub Ronaldo on at striker, and etc, etc, go from there. And I reckon super subs are going to be absolutely huge in this, because if you are losing, you know, because it's not a great team, right? So if you're losing 1-0, then you can bring your super subs on. Obviously, you might not have Messi or Ronaldo, but you'll definitely have some better players lying around in your club from your main team, so there's always that. Now, so number two, boys, is going to be chemistry styles. Now, I have to mention I am not sponsored or affiliated with Footbin whatsoever, but I am going to use these guys as... As an example so let's take let's take this pussy card for an example now the good thing with footbin footbin tells you how much he's worth you know his price on the ps4 xbox currently 1.1k on the ps 1.3k on the xbox and as you can see they've given you all of these chem styles here you can chuck a chem style on them and it will you know show you what stats it affects in game let's say we put a let's say we put a sentinel on him why not he gets a plus nine defending and a plus five physical so he goes to 73 defending from 74 and he also gets a plus five physical uh from 66 to 71 a plus 10 aggression a plus 15 jumping and in game he goes to an 81 rated center mid which obviously is already 81 rated anyways let's go with a shadow a shadow there we go he goes to an 82 rated center mid in game he gets a plus 10 on his pace he goes to 85 pace maybe if you're playing him as a center mid you'd go for a catalyst boom 83 rated center mid and an 85 rated left mid 85 pace 88 passing so basically what i'm trying to say is chemistry styles can significantly make your players play better in game you don't have to go out and buy you know shadows for your defenders hunters for your strikers because are thousands of coins each i think to be exact shadows are like five thousand coins um, but what you can do, check your club for chem styles, scroll down, you might have some marksmen, some dead eyes, and let's say this Uribe card, uh, let, let's put an artist on him, why not, just something i got lying around, and it's going to give him a massive passing and a massive dribbling boost, and as you can see, in game he gets a plus 15 long passing, plus 10 crossing, plus 10 vision, uh, plus 10 dribbling, plus 15 agility, uh, and a plus 5 reactions, etc, etc, uh, so obviously he's going to perform a whole lot better than a 79 rated card in game game now tip number three boys this is just going to be to do with the squad battles now squad battles basically you have got you, you get four teams each time as you can see usually ea give you two really shit teams or a, a really shit team an average team and then uh, uh some good teams so the good team that they've given me in this selection is an 86 rated squad we've got a 74 rated squad with 70 chem which is beatable we've got an 83 rated squad with 99 chem which is relatively tough and we've got a 63 squad with 45 chem which is going to be a whole lot easier as you can see you can view the squad and it's going to be relatively easy to be on professional difficulty just a bronze team no one's on chem so you can go to this make sure it's on professional and then obviously go from there um, and basically you know you want to avoid playing the higher rated teams because obviously it's going to be a whole lot harder winning against a higher rated team and after you play at least one game or I think it's every day you get a free refresh of your squad battles as you can see by pressing I think X on the Xbox and square on a PlayStation it gives you the option to refresh refresh your team so you can keep refreshing we're going to refresh the selection we got a 184 uh basically a 185 once again we get a 63 rated with 40 chem and a 79 rated with 29 chem so we're going to be wanting to play the 79 rated with low chem and the center backs at striker and we're going to be wanting to play the 63 rated squad compared to these 85 and 84 rated squads because it'll be a whole lot tougher so play the low rated teams keep refreshing and go from there lads that's essentially it that's all my tips let's head it back over to a objectives and i'll just you know recap over it to make sure that you know everything will work okay 
so where is it? You have to scroll down quite a bit as well. I know people have asked me. You just got to scroll down a little bit. Um, and it's Liga Portugal Squad Foundation. Score eight, uh, eight outside of a box goals. Can be with literally anyone in your team. You can get four or five done in one match. Assist eight goals with crosses. Uh, once again, that is Square on the PlayStation and X on the Xbox. Score using Liga Portugal players. Your whole team is Liga Portugal. So you just got to score with someone in eight separate matches. And win 10 matches to get this raffle card. Uh, obviously winning 10 matches is going to take around as i said two hours two and a half hours hopefully this video did hype, help you guys out not hype you guys up but help you guys out if you are new as well make sure to drop a like and subscribe we're going to give it to your ab or i'm going to actually learn how to pronounce his name first and then we'll get a uh a, you know objectives guide out on him hope you guys did enjoy it's been your boy davis and until next time see you later lads